Another breaking story we're following at this hour. Law enforcement taking a fresh look at the mysterious death of a Georgia teenager. This is a story that made national headlines. It was back in 2013 that Kendrick Johnson was found dead inside of a rolled up gym mount gym mat at Lowndes County High School. His family believes the 17 year old was murdered, but in 2016 his death was ruled accidental. No charges were filed. On your side, Troy Kless spoke with the Lowndes County Sheriff about the decision to reopen this case. Troy. Thank you, Heather. The sheriff telling me tonight that thanks in part to the Johnson family, they were able to obtain 17 file cabinets worth of evidence, both copies of interview transcripts and hard drive towers, all part of that investigation into a case that drew national attention. A family seeking justice. Sheriff Ashley Polk credits Kendrick Johnson's family for getting new evidence they were previously denied. They were the driving force, and they actually were able to obtain the documents uh, or, or get them sent to me. An initial autopsy determined that Johnson's death was an accident, but Johnson's family believes he was murdered by schoolmates. The family also believes FBI agents swept the case under the rug. Sheriff Polk knows the family well and spoke with them last week. You know, Twelve questions that came out of the meeting that they want me to focus on. He wants to re-examine the evidence they have received. Yeah, I'm the only person now that has the chance to put everything together in one place. So it's going to be a lot of work, but we're going to do it. We've reached out to attorneys for Johnson's family, and we're still waiting to hear from them. Now, coming up at 6, we'll explain more about that perceived connection to the FBI in this case. We're reporting live. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side. And our coverage of the Kendrick Johnson case continues on firstcoastnews.com. There you can read our year's worth of stories on him and this case and any updates as they come into our newsroom.